start by saying this. I'm retired Air Force. I'm not sharing my story for attention. Give a fuck if you believe me or not. I'm sharing my story for selfish reasons. Because I need to get this off my chest. And there's nobody in my family to talk to about it. I fear that talking to my wife and kids will only make them think that I'm crazy. Understand, I'm a six foot six, 210 pound, in good shape, 39 year old family man. Yearly, we go on a vacation to Florida, and during our vacation, my sons and I like to jet ski. Been doing it for years, long enough to be comfortable hopping on a jet ski at any point in time. Picture the scene. We have been out all day riding around. My sons get hungry and decide to head in and get something to eat. I tell them, you guys go ahead. I head in 15 minutes later, get some food, then head back out, leaving them on the beach with their mother. Now, I'm out alone. It's about an hour before sunset. I'm flying around enjoying myself. And to this day, I can't explain how this happened because I've done this maneuver a thousand times. I go to make a sharp turn to head back to shore. The nose of the jet ski dips into the water and it's almost like it hit something or something grabbed it because it slows down digging deep into the water then pops up and the jet ski shoots from under my body. I watch in horror as the emergency shut off switch, you know the red one with the string attached, detaches cutting the engine off as it shoots away from me and I fall back into the water. Now I find myself swimming in the direction of the jet ski. We are both caught in the current. And the more I swim, the further it gets away from me. So now I'm floating there for a second debating. Should I take off this life vest and give it one good effort to swim and get to it? Or should I lay back and float and wait for rescue? Listen to me. In that time frame where I was trying to make that decision, the jet ski floated so far away from me that I decided it was probably best that I just keep my life vest on. So now I'm swimming with the current again, trying to get to the jet ski, and I swim, and I swim, and I swim, and after 15 minutes, I realize I'm not about to catch up with this jet ski. Now it's floating away, and the reality sets in that all I have left is this life vest. So I lay on my back and float as the sun goes down. Understand, in a situation like this, your mind plays tricks on you. I've been told by my friends who are Navy SEALs, if you find yourself stranded in the water alone, you have to want to survive no matter what. No matter what your mind tells you, you tell it what you believe. So now my mind is freaking out, saying, sharks, it's getting dark, sharks eat at night, they come out to feed at night. And as the moon rose, my mind began to play more and more tricks on me. I started to see fins in the water. Were they really there? I don't know. To this day, I'm not sure. Because I never got bit. Maybe they were. Maybe they weren't. Or maybe I just lied to myself, convincing myself that there were no sharks there. All I know for sure is that I was there floating in that water. My body began to get heavier and heavier as it became waterlogged. The moon is now high in the sky and I know it's getting late because I see it moving past the apex. All I can think was I was going to die. My family is sitting there worried. But I kept saying to myself out loud, you're not going to die. You're not going to die. You're not going to die. Then in that moment, I had a religious experience and I started praying. I said, dear God, I don't know if you're listening or if you're paying attention or if you're busy, but I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm scared, and I could really, really, really use a miracle. Minutes after I finished praying, I started getting sleepy. Again, being out on that water, as the waves gently moved me back and forth, it was almost like being a baby in a crib again with someone rocking me. It was harder and harder for me to keep my eyes open. And that's when things got worse, because I would fall asleep and begin dreaming that I was at home in my bed hugging my wife and wake up to the reality that I was floating alone in the middle of the ocean. It was in between one of those dreams where I was going to sleep and waking back up that I first felt a pool in the water. Now I'm panicking because I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, a shark has swum along and bit the back of my life. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Dog Waters. And as you know, when you swim in the dog waters, the deeper you go, sometimes you're going to need to pay a little bit of bread to get the whole story. So 
this is one of those stories you want to hear the full story head on over to imdarkwaters.com it's $4.99 a month to become a member you can sign up via PayPal or you can use the cash app option just click the membership tab select, uh, select whichever one you want and sign up today again imdarkwaters.com only $4.99 a month and man when I tell you I got the goods I got the goods enjoy <laughs> <laughs>